So, uh, so we, uh, so there's a couple different ways people uh, harvest fish. Typically, people think about people putting out lines, hooking lines, and that's one way. Um, people oftentimes drag nets, but then a third broad category is deploying traps. And so, uh, around us in California, we mostly have lobster pots um, in Southern California. But we all, but you can use uh, these types of uh, crustacean traps all kinds of ways. So, Carol, will tell us about what this is. Okay. Basically, it's for blue crab. This is your bait pod. Put your bait in here. You close it. And when you throw it overboard, it's going to go with the funnel down. You got four funnels, one on each side. This guy floats up to the surface. Yeah, when the car goes up, and you latch it right here where the crabs don't get out. Like this. And then they, they'll crawl in there, get to the bait. And they can't get, once they crawl in there, they can't get back out. Sometimes they'll crawl all the way up to the top here and go on the top too. That's why they had to add the extra escape. Right, for the small crabs. So size selected. So this is a way of getting only the, the right size crabs so the little guys can get out so you're not taking them too early. And so the traps will be sized for whatever the particular uh, fishery is so that um, we only get the individuals usually after they've reached sexual maturity so you're not taking the young before they can contribute to the population. Call them virgin crabs. Virgin crabs. <laughs> right, and each trap has to have, each crab fisherman has to have a tag on every one of their traps. That's a state tag. And so these are people deploy these, and then unscrupulous people might come and pick up your, your trap and try to take your, take your catch, and that's not yeah, that's not good. Sometimes they'll steal the trap. That's not good. And then how many would a typical like so so somebody putting these out? How many would he have on his boat, let's say. Oh, well, right now they're fishing with one set of about 500 traps. 500. Usually they, sometimes they'll fish with two sets of 1,000, 500 each. And they'll set them, and then how, how long do they let it sort of soak before they come and do the first check? Some, sometimes almost every day they go out. Uh -huh. Winter time is probably twice a week. Cool. And these are clean, right? So when they come back, they're all bunch of biofouling and right. crusty stuff. They call it orangutan hairs. Bunch Rangutan, of hair, yeah. and they all dirty, heavy. But that's what they call it, orangutan hair. Cool. Blue crabs. And then and on a good trap, like if you put this out and it was a great set and there was a lot of crab, how many how many legal crabs do you think you might have in a trap like this? Good. Summertime they could probably have one, two dozen in a trap. Mm -hmm. So two dozen in this trap and if you have five hundred out there you can get a lot of a lot of crab. A lot of crab. Do you guys have any questions? All right, so those are crab pots.